All right, since the Black Ops 6 ARG, I think finished over the weekend since we got the Terminus cinematic trailer. But anyways, on August 8th, we've got the gameplay reveal trailer. So far, it looks really good, but I'm going to keep my expectations very low because I already learned my lesson with Cold War. So with the gameplay reveal trailer, we got revealed to a lot of stuff, like a lot of ton of stuff that's going to be in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Not only that, with the Terminus cinematic trailer, we got revealed to the story. Well, very little bits of it. With the massive reveal of an old returning character that's fully confirmed. So for today's video, I'm going to be breaking down both of the trailers. But before I get into that, I want to say something about my channel first. I started a sub goal recently, and the sub goal was to hit 5k by the end of August. We're now sitting at 3k. So anyone that subscribed before, thank you. Once I hit the sub goal, it will be my first stream, and it will be a Q&A stream. So if you want to see that, subscribe right now and like the video. But with that out of the way, let's get back into the video. So for one of these trailers, we're going to first start with the gameplay trailer, the one that revealed Terminus, as this is going to be one of the maps that's going to be launched when the game comes out. The other map is Liberty Falls, but we only got a teaser at the end. And I'll explain more of it when I get a bit later down in line with the trailer. But with the Terminus trailer, obviously we got fully revealed to the Terminus map. We've seen the Terminus map before, but in small teasers when back in the last month when they revealed Black Ops 6. And also too, a little bit in the ARG. I did a video on the ARG fully explaining it, you could see it on the top right, but you could watch this after finishing this video. Gameplay trailer starts with showing off a little bit of the cinematic trailer before playing the song of Rob Zombie Dragular, which kicks ass in this trailer. So the trailer shows more the omnidirectional of how it works in zombies, and so far it looks really good, it really blends it with it really well. And possibly too, zombies might be harder due to the omnidirectional movement, since we're able to move in all directions, slide, and dolphin dive into different directions, we might get an increase of difficulty. This will probably satisfy some fans because many consider the Cold War zombies to be really easy. So maybe with Black Ops 6 it would be significantly harder, doing a perfect balance of new casual players and the veteran players too. We got access to two new traps. One looks like straight up out of the thing as it's coming down from the ceiling, eating up as much as zombies. Or you could say it almost looks something similar to that one indie game called Carrion as both of them use similar flesh like horror. The other trap we've seen before with the first reveal with the stream was the battleship turret trap. Where it uses a black hole in order to select the zombies and we got more of a glimpse of it in this trailer. Hopefully they keep up with this trend making the traps more imaginative and more creative. But we got the massive tagline for this next zombies game as round based maps are coming back. Full on now which was not really need to be advertised because that's Treyarch's more fashion, but they did. It is rumored too that we're supposed to get every map with new season. I don't highly believe this because that seems like a lot of work. Officially now, round based modes are back on the table now and it's fully going to stay for this game. As for the next game, which is supposed to be Black Ops 7 or more of a remake of Black Ops 2, they're going to bring back Outbreak for that. But that's another rumor. And as the trailer continues, we see more zombie unique designs. These are the normal ones. At first, I thought they were the special ones because one looks like the imp from Doom. And even my community tab, someone pointed out too. But these are just normal ones as you can see some of them in the background. But the most important highlight in this section is that I think this might be consumable in the final game. As you inject yourself with a serum, like Bioshock type of style, you get to be turned into a mangler or you get to use the suit, the mangler suit. Or it's possible you can find it around the map. We can already guess with the Mangler suit that it buffs the player to hell a lot. Increase health, defense, and weapons too. Because you can punch the zombies a lot, run into them and kill them, and even use the Mangler weapon, which does more of a shockwave, doing an AoE effect, killing a group of zombies. But safe to say with the Mangler suit, I think you could use it for a limited time, and then also you get rid of it if the zombies hit you enough. But I think you won't go down, I think you just get heavily damaged. But so far, it kind of looks overpowered, but I think they'll probably balance it out when the game comes out. After the mangler portion, it shows that we're able to swim. And I think due to this, the map might be bigger than anticipated. And it seems like also too, they're bringing back the swimming thing, because I think the last map that had it was Zitsubi no Shima, and then after that, they never did anything with it. But we can see that they use a dung beard, the boat, to go to another island. So... I think this might be a viable ride in order to go to the island, or it might be like a turret section, kind of esque viable. It's, at first, I thought this might be a little bit open worldish, but no, I think there might be invisible walls that kind of restrict those of us going to a different island by swimming. Boats in order to go to a different island. And maybe one of those boats gives us access to the Pack-a-Punch room, or we're able to swim to it. 
And we can see that when you ride the bow, enemies are able to hit you. As with the new enemy type, the parasites, which are similar to the Shadows of Evil ones, with the bees, the parasites have their own special round. And will probably work like the same as the ones from Shadows of Evil. We can see PhD is going to make a comeback, and also to PhD Slider. And there are two different perks in this one I've heard from rumors. Most exciting thing about this is what we see is that we're getting a new pack of punch variant ammo. And a new camel too at that. Camel takes more of a dark ether appearance and there's going to be other two camels too. But this pack of punch variant ammo looks really cool. We're not sure what it's called, but we can see that it uses a black hole and then sometimes the zombies get killed by it or they drop from above. So they might die from fall damage or they will probably get stumbled when they fall into the ground. Then later it shows us the mystery box and we finally get to reveal the wonder weapon for this map. It takes more of an electricity base, and the way it shoots is more of a beam. It is unknown if we upgrade it or this is just a base model, but I think we'll figure it out when the game comes out and we can see if there's many other upgrades for it. Then we get to see the new perk, Melee Macchiato. We've already seen in the other ARG, but this one fully confirms that it's completely melee based as it gives you a stronger melee attack when you punch. Even to the perk machine even kills a zombie, which is... Interesting, because I don't think any other perk machine's done this before. Maybe when the game comes out, it was just a gimmick as we try to recreate it, it might be harder to do. So it's probably just a shot just for the trailer. Burst streaks are making a comeback like from Cold War with the Hell Chopper Gunner and other stuff too. Similarly too, the field upgrade from Cold War is making a comeback with this one. But the other main highlight in this trailer is the new special enemy types, the Parasites. We've seen the Arachnid type of Parasite one before in the ARG, but of course it was static. And this one it's full on display and it's safe to say i think it's more of a mini boss nothing compared to the other one the bigger one that seems more in tune with more as a boss as there's a bunch of zombies on it or well in it since now they're more taking up approach of body horror which i like and i think it could fit more the dark ether storyline more also too they bring back the expo mechanic from cold war so that's a plus another big final thing is that we get to reveal a large tentacle and I think this may have to do with the easter egg, as we probably had to kill this thing in order to finish off the map. The thing is huge, and it's similar to the parasites where it's just body horror, so it's probably just a bunch of zombie masks. It is still unknown of how this boss is gonna work. To me, I think it'd be probably something similar to the one from Cold War with the second map that got released. With Firebase Z, I'm thinking of that map. So this might be an overhaul of that for this map. So the trailer ends off with the whole thing showing off the rest of Terminus. But at the last part, we get revealed to Liberty Falls, but just a teaser of it. And I might have called it a couple months ago. This might be the transit remake we might get, but it might be a small toned down remake. Probably something similar to the size of Town Survival. I'm saying this because we got the old Wonder Weapon back. The one for transit, the jet gun, as it makes a full on return in this map. I wonder how they improved this since last time. Probably just a small change because that was the best and worst Wonder Weapon ever as it killed the zombies infinite damage and you had to repair it. So maybe this time it won't break at all, but doing that might nerf the gun a little bit. The trailer ends off with going to the Dark Ether, seeing a more upside down version of a church, and then it plays the old ground changing sound. Which took off a lot of nostalgia bells for me, and it shows that how much they want to get the fans back to love zombies ever again, which is a good sign. But I'm going to keep my expectations low when the game comes out. So I think that's it I have to talk about for the Terminus reveal trailer. Now onto the cinematic trailer. And also two little bits of the whole Intel story drop. So we're going to go to the cinematic trailer and we got revealed to one of the biggest things ever. As it finally fully confirms of an old returning character. Rick Toffin. We're unsure if he's going to be a villain or more of an anti-hero in this installment. Since this is a different Rick Toffin as we know before as it's the one from Black Ops Swerve when the last easter egg the tagged their totem showing off ending off the original Aether storyline. So this Rektofen might mean business as he might be the most ultimate one out of all of them. This might be a tease for the true antagonist because I don't think this Rektofen's that evil compared to the older ones. But again it might be wrong since he did torture most of the Rec Room crew as he installed the orders in order to break their minds. Like with the first beginning part where it plays that poem again as we heard in the ARG as it's continuously playing over and over again to break more of their minds. Strauss is the one that's breaking more easily, and the other ones are on the brink of insanity. But a new character comes along and frees them. This new character is Maya, and she's part of the new zombie crew. 
but she had help along the way. Dr. Peck. He was a bad guy in Cold War, but now he's more of a good guy. Is there more the enemy of my enemy is my friend? So they have to team up in order to fight against Richtofen. But to me, I think in the end, I think he's going to turn against everyone. Probably towards near the end of when all the maps have been released, or maybe earlier. But with the new character Maya, the reason she asked Dr. Peck for help is she's looking for a brother. So her and Dr. Peck release all her characters, all the ones from Cold War. Weaver, Dr. Grey, Carver, Strauss, and Raptor 1. In my other video, I did talk about I don't know who the hell was Raptor 1, but he's the actual chopper from Cold War. So this is our main crew from now on. Thank God, because many fans have been asking for this. We have a dedicated crew for zombies. Since the Cold War, that completely changed. As more you use operators, but they felt more generic in terms of playing zombies with some of their quotes. He is behind the bars. Feels good to get hands on again. Pace yourself, Carver. I think we're just getting started. They didn't have really a big personality to them, or have a big reaction to fighting zombies. With these new set of characters, we can finally have that. There's still operators as you can play them in multiplayer and warzone, but they have a bunch of quotes which was confirmed in the intel drop trailer that all these characters synergize with each other. They quote with each other and they quote about the environment, which is really good. We can finally have that personality back in Zombies, which made the older series good, and even with the other ones too. This is a good sign so far right now, but we still have to wait when the game fully comes out. And the plans for post launch too. But so far it looks really good. Even though with this trailer we only got little bits of the new story, we're not fully sure what's fully gonna come. All we know is two things, we have to kill Richtofen, and we have to find Maya's brother. I'm going to do a prediction here, I think Maya's brother is that weird tentacle zombie boss in the first Terminus map, so we're probably going to have to kill that in the first map. That thing might be her brother since his brother might transform into that, or something else entirely. It's just a small prediction. I think we get to see more glimpse of the story when the Liberty Falls trailer comes out, or when they show it off by the end of August. And in that trailer we might get more quotes, and also too in the further down the line with the future maps we might even get more better quotes. Especially too since his new crew members are all synergized with it together, as they both went through hell going to prison. But like I said earlier in this section, thank god that we have personality back in these characters now. We can be fully immersed with them fully now. But I think that's it for this breakdown, it's going to be shorter than the last one so I think I'm done with this. So to the end of the video. If you made it to the end of the video thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also to follow my Twitter. Hope you guys have a nice day. This is Mazer Argo signing out.